So in a recent video, while I was building my baseline bushcraft kit, I realized that really the only saw that I had suitable for bushcraft purposes was this silky pocket boy. I mean, it's nice, it's great, it's a folder. It's still super sharp even after all the use that I've given it. But I realized that it was limited in length and really kinda was a little bit older, you know, getting along in age, even though it still has tons and tons of good use, I kind of wanted to upgrade to a new saw. And so for that, I got the Silky Gomtaro. This Gomtaro is 300 millimeters. It has a nice, sharp, coarse tooth, nice fixed blade, has an excellent sheath, with a nice belt system that even has a little clip to allow you to keep this piece on your belt but then disengage this if you wanted to, so pretty nice. This just slides in and has a little bit of a friction retention. I don't feel like this is necessarily going to fall off, but I wouldn't go doing anything too terribly strenuous with it. But pretty nice, so I'm going to give this thing a try. I haven't even used it yet. And, um, you know, I'm going to limb up a tree right now and just get it kind of situated so I can set up my hammock. But I'm going to give this thing a go. Let's see what it can do. down watch your face brand yep this one here this big guy oh yeah you're getting good it's, it's working quick huh I think it's sweet yeah, it is. nice Super clean cuts, really, really clean. I mean, even on branches, I'm not trying to cut cleanly. It's just super, super clean. And when you look at what it does on the tree, that's just awesome. I mean, it's good for the tree, it's less work. Let's take a quick look at the saw. So here's the saw after reasonable use. Now I did find that because it's such a thin stock that it does flex quite a bit so you kind of need to be careful i was nervous a couple times i almost bent it but luckily it just sprung right back into shape so no damage really yet of course after use these teeth are still razor razor sharp so right off the get-go i am quite happy with this performance and the actual quality of this saw this does do more cutting on the pull I mean, both sides of these teeth are sharpened, but really the pull is where you get the bulk of the cut and where most of your energy goes to work. Now, one of the things that's gonna be really hard for you to see on video and even for me to describe is how really super light this is. I mean, if you're gonna use this for a backpacking option or 
hiking, camping, anything that you have to carry this in. It is excellent in the regards that it is just super, super lightweight. And so it's easy to carry with you, very maneuverable, and ultimately packs into, for all things considered, a really small, tight package. So that's it for now. That's the Silky Gomtaro 300. I gotta get myself back to some family time. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.